Oh my gosh, guys, right in front of me right here is like a whole bunch of new makeup that I haven't touched yet. I'm so excited. It's like candy land right now. Actually, you know what? It'd be more like cookie land for me. I'm not so much into candy. Cookies, though, eat those every night. But I want to save it because I want to do a haul a little bit later. I'm being so good, guys. I'm just like looking at it. It's like, oh. Hello, everyone. I'm here today to share with you guys a new buy or buy. And today we're gonna to be talking about the new products that launched from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I ordered these online the day that it came out and these came in the mail last night. So I wanted to sit down and film sort of like a tutorial using them and getting my first impressions, what they look like, all that fun stuff. And the products that I got are number one, obviously, the Subculture Palette. This is the, I guess, sister to the Modern Renaissance Palette, which is one of their top selling products. I think it's actually like the top selling product in Sephora actually and I also bought alongside of that two of their liquid glows because I've seen the photos up on Insta with these products and hmm they look good but do I get the crystal tiara and sunglasses and throne that came along with those photos because that'd be great and in case you guys are new to my buyer buy reviews what I do is I rate a particular collection or a brand or a new launch whatever it is out of five emojis and I try and relate the emojis back to whatever it is that I am testing out. If you guys are interested in seeing more buyer buys, I will put a link in the card section in case you guys are interested in checking those out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so now that we are zoomed in, I think the emoji I'm going to use today is the sparkle emoji because, I don't know, I feel like ABH is a very glam brand, and also I mean like liquid glow. If I'm not blinding astronauts, I'm gonna be very disappointed. I'll rate each of these products separately and that way we can kind of see if it's five out of five, like again, blinding Martians. And then one sparkle out of five is like chunky dollar store glitter. So let's just dive in. And the reason I don't have any makeup on my face right now is because I wanted to mix these in with my foundation as well as use them as a highlight and just kind of see what they look like um, in, in both forms. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open these up and I'm gonna swatch them because I don't know what color I'm going to use. Oh, by the way, I didn't even tell you. I got Perla and Oyster. These are the two lightest shades. They come with four different shade options though. On the ABH website, they describe Perla as white gold and Oyster as more of an opal tone and they retail for $25. So this right here is Perla. Ooh, it is very, very light on the skin and oh my goodness, look at that glow. Yep, yeah, I'm about that. Well, this one so far is my favorite and I haven't even swatched the other one yet. And then Oyster. Ooh, it has almost like a rosy, rose gold kind of an undertone. That is nice. And that one is Oyster. I feel like that's not gonna be the right undertone for my skin. It's a little bit on the pinky side for me, so I think I'm gonna stick with Perla today. So I'm going to mix a little bit in with my foundation. Today I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Wear Foundation. I did sort of a uh, worth the rating video on this on Wednesday, so you check it out if you are interested in knowing more about this one. But I'm going to put some of the foundation in my hand and I'm going to mix in like a blob of this because it's, it's pretty blinding. All right, we're gonna blend this onto the face. All right, so that is my foundation on. I don't really see any significant glow off of that. I see a little bit, like a very subtle amount, which is good. I mean, yeah, I don't wanna be too blinding all over the face, or do I? So I will finish up a little bit more of my makeup and we will see what this looks like patted on the cheekbones. Okay, now let's go into this highlight business. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand here and I think I'm gonna use a sponge to apply it? I don't really know. We're gonna wing it. Ooh, look how blinding that is. I think I used too much. Maybe I can just keep it like this. <laughs> That's a good look, right? I'll just blend this in now. All right, so there is one layer just along the cheekbones there. It's very easy to layer and blend out. I did set under my eyes. I don't know why I did that. That was silly. So it's, I'm, I'm kind of worried that it's going to clump up with the powder I put on under my eyes. I didn't put that much, but you know, you never know. But I kept sort of this area right here where I would put highlight free of powder because I didn't want that to affect the, the application. I'm gonna try applying it with a brush just to see if that's any different. Oh, I don't like that at all. 
That is making it very streaky. Nope, not brush. Right, we'll try fingertips instead. I really like Perla's undertone. It is such a pretty neutral champagne shade that is really, really flattering. Um, and I'm into it right now. That's really nice. And so far from my experience, if you want like a really strong highlight, applying it with your fingertips is going to give you the best bang for your buck. Um, and that seems to be working the best. It doesn't feel very thick or cakey in any way. It is very liquidy and um, metallic in finish, which is nice as well. We'll see what it looks like when it dries down just to make sure that it's not super sparkly or anything like that. But so far, I like that. So that is what it looks like on the skin. It doesn't feel like anything. It almost dries down to almost like a powdery like finish. Like it doesn't feel sticky or tacky in any way. It is very pretty and blinding in person. It's looking really nice. I like it. All right, on to the eyeshadow. So here's the eyeshadow palette. It features 14 new shades. It retails for $42. And it says here that it is an essential eyeshadow kit that ranges from grungy mattes to bold metallics for an underground edge. So it looks like we have three metallic shades and the rest are mattes. There is a range of, there's some cool tones, some warm tones, some interesting ones like this electric shade right here is really neat. I kind of want to play around with that one a little. Um, but some very wearable shades as well, so you could kind of mix it up depending on what you're feeling that day. So now I'm gonna swatch everything on my arm and we're gonna see what these look like. All right, so here are the swatches on my arms. You guys can see that the mattes are very matte and very pigmented. I was very impressed with the quality of them. Cube and Electric, those two metallic shades, Oh my goodness, those were abysmal. They did not swatch very well, and they just didn't show up really well on my arms, so I was super disappointed. I do wanna play around with electric today on my eyes, so I might mix it with some Fix Plus and just see how it goes. But that's what that looks like. I really like it off the top, so let's get into the tutorial and what I'm going to do today. So I'm gonna start with Dawn, just on the crease to create a little bit of contrast. And then I'm gonna go over it a little bit deeper into the crease with the shade Roxy, and then go back and forth between Roxy and New Wave to kind of deepen and warm up that crease. And then I went in with Electric and I tried it first without any Fix Plus and <laughs> wah wah, didn't work. So then I tried it again and oh my goodness, so much better. What a difference. It looks really, really pretty on the eyes. I like it, a little bit different and unique than what I would normally wear, but I like it. And then I went in with Axis, this really dark bluey teal shade that is gorgeous. And I was originally gonna do a winged line and then I decided that I wanted to do something a little bit more smoky on the outer corner. So I went in with um, Axis more along the lash line and then took Untamed up into the outer crease area a little bit. And then I just went over the crease a couple of times with Dawn and Roxy to sort of soften everything up. Then I added a little bit of Dawn and Fudge under the eyes, which didn't end up taping because um, my camera died. So you missed that. Then I went in with my mascara, which I used the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. And I was originally going to just use that and not do any lashes. So I went in with a little bit more blush using um, this one by Tarte. It's their Fearless. 12 hour blush. And then I went in with a lip color from Smashbox. This is their Be Legendary Liquid Pigment in Bad B. And then I was gonna keep it at that and then I thought, no, why not? We're gonna do some lashes. So I used, again, the Huda um, Easy Lash in Camille, which they're kind of on their last legs. So they're not at their prime right now, but I made them work. I like it, it's a little different than something I would normally wear, but it's really pretty. All right, so let's get into the actual palette itself and what I thought of it, having used it once. Honestly, and I think this is going to be a very unpopular opinion, but I think I actually like subculture better than modern renaissance. I know, cue the dramatic gasps from the audience. But honestly, I feel like you can get a, a beautiful berry look from this and it's very pretty, very pigmented and gorgeous. But this one, I don't know, it just like, there are cool tones, there are warm tones, there's some electric shade, these blue shades are really gorgeous. The yellow, there's a little bit of berry in there, some great, like I just feel like, this has a lot of options in here and I can get a lot more different looks from it. And I really like the quality, to be honest. I think that the only thing really that's missing for me is, <laughs> any anyone, any guesses, anyone, no? The inner corner highlight. I just, I tried using Cube on the inner corner. I tried using it with Fix Plus in the inner corner. It didn't do anything. It was too pink of a duochrome and it just, I don't, I didn't like the way that it looked. So I ended up actually using the uh, liquid glow on the inner corners instead. 
and I like that a lot better. So for me, the one thing that's missing from here is just a nice pop. It could be a matte shade or a shimmer shade, but just something for the under the eyebrow and in the inner corner would have been nice. I have heard, though I have not experienced it myself having only used it once, that a lot of people have been hitting pan after like two or three uses, which I find kind of odd and weird. And people have been having mixed reactions to the pigmentation and the color selections and stuff. I'm gonna be honest, I think it's great. I think this was a really fun palette and I'm glad that I bought it and I will continue to use it. That's my personal opinion on it. So I'm gonna give this palette four sparkles out of five. I thought it was a great palette, great pigmentation, great quality, a good variety of shades in here. It's just really just missing that inner corner highlight. I just wish that it was there and it's not. Now on to the liquid glow. You know what, I need to find the lid. I don't know where I put the lid, guys. It's, oh, there it is. I can just totally see myself oblivious and just talking as liquid highlight just sort of drips all over the floor. Okay, having used this, I think it is beautiful. I will caution you, make sure you don't layer this over top of powder like I did just a little bit on the outer corner of the eye. It doesn't layer very well on top of powder obviously. But the glow is really nice. I feel like it'll be very wearable whether you have makeup on or not. I love the undertone of Perla. This is definitely my favorite of the two that I got. I think Oyster is just a little too pinky toned for me personally, but this one is stunning. A little bit goes a long way. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm happy I bought it and I will continue to use this. I'm going to use a little bit more in my foundation next time just to see if that'll make any difference. And if I do that before I put up this video, I'll put like a little like message down below for you guys. So so um, I'll let you know if that makes any sort of a difference. So I also really like this. I'm gonna give this four and a half sparkles out of five because not only do I love the color, it is light enough for me, it has the right neutral undertone, but also the product itself in terms of the quality is also there. I think that you get a lot for your money as well, considering it is Anastasia Beverly Hills, it is a more high-end brand. You do seem to get a lot of product and a little bit goes a long way. So. Um, I really like it. I like that it has multiple purposes. I use it on the inner corner of the eyes and I think it looks really pretty, but also as a highlight. And you could also mix in with your primers or foundations or anything like that. So I like that there are multiple purposes for this too. So yeah, I mean, overall, I had a lot of success from these purchases from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I will continue to play around with them. I think they're a big thumbs up and a definite buy for me. And I'm really happy that I bought them. So that's everything for this video. If you have purchased these items as well, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the modern renaissance better? Do you like subculture better? What do you think of the liquid glows? Let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And that's everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you, girls. Mwah.